Hello everyone. Welcome to Math is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about relating triangles to quadrilaterals and relating one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral. First is we're going to discuss about relating triangles to quadrilaterals. Both triangles and quadrilaterals fall under the category of polygons. A triangle is a three-sided polygon. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Another relationship between triangles to quadrilaterals. A triangle is half of a quadrilateral. The sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is always 360 degrees, whereas the sum of the angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. This is quadrilateral ABCD. In triangle ABC, their angles are 90 degrees, 60 degrees, and 30 degrees, with a total of 180 degrees. In triangle ACD, their angles are 90 degrees, 60 degrees, and 30 degrees, with a total also of 180 degrees. If we're going to add the two triangles, their total is equal to 360 degrees. Therefore, a triangle is one half of a quadrilateral. Another relationship between triangles to quadrilaterals is through their area. The area of a quadrilateral, which is a parallelogram, is equal to base times height. This is a parallelogram. Whereas the area of a triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. Therefore, triangle is one half of a quadrilateral. Next is we're going to discuss about the relationship between one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral. There are many different types of quadrilaterals and they are all share the similarity of having four sides two diagonals and the sum of their interior angles is 360 degrees. They all have relationships to one another, but they are not all exactly alike and have different properties. Look at the illustration. A rectangle, rhombus, and square are all parallelograms. They are having two pairs of parallel sides, while trapezoid is not a parallelogram. It consists of one pair of parallel sides. Rectangle and rhombus could be a square. A square is a special kind of rectangle, but not all rectangle is a square. These are the relationship between one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.